just went to my dad's house, had dinner with him. We're headed out of town tomorrow, so we need to go home and get packed in the truck through a check engine light. And sounds like it's running on half the cylinders. Now it's running fine. It like it goes in and out. No, I'm not gonna 12 valve swap. I saw the last video, the oldest truck, well, it's not the oldest, but the one I've owned the longest let me down. 340-ish thousand miles. Oddly enough, it ran fine when I went to go pick it up at the trailer. We gotta get stuff loaded up and head to work tomorrow. So, we'll see if she fires up and drives off without an issue. Hauled some equipment tonight. Let's go move this truck, roll up the window at least, so animals don't go in there. I just wanted a quick diagnose, but then I was thinking I might stumble across something and you guys want to be involved with it. So, this stuff here that's for the pack brake, that's for the fast. Yeah, I was, I don't know, 22 years old when I bought this truck, so stuff just got thrown in there. But what I'm thinking could be the issue is because the last time it did this snapped out of it quick but then i went through and cleaned all these terminals cleaned all this stuff up obviously battery terminal corrosion has come back checked it on this side you know you got body grounds you check all those but this is what i was just looking at is i suspected this because there's to your other battery is this guy this one goes down to your starter and then the, there's a third little guy right there that goes and powers all the juice inside everything for the truck is just that little I don't even know what size it is. Oh, we got the black kitty. I named him Mouse. Because he's, you know, you are what you eat. So go eat some mice. But check this out. I mean, this is factory Dodge stuff. Oh, that thing came undone. What the hell? Look at here. We got some corrosion inside our terminal end right there. Look at that. So before I jump to conclusions, I'm going to go ahead and order some Amazon terminal ends slap that back that one oof how's it look in there it feels solid beat but this thing is it's corroding inside the block anyway long-winded two minutes of just telling you we got corrosion inside the battery terminals oh mouse man here's what my hunch is because i was messing around with this thing i'm gonna check the little wire goes down to here it's just fine i don't see nothing problem there it's tight and everything what you want on the thing which is kind of, a, well, I mean, this one's starting to crack, but I don't like cutting these factory ones unless they're junk. And well, we're finding out. Oh my goodness. I don't have a Milwaukee little mini grinder. Okay, somebody said that before. Jesus, that sucks. Shit, I'm gonna have to order one. Yeah, dude, you heard me, it sucks. That's everything I got. Ah, there we go. Dude, I got it off there. So, I mean, I highly doubt that's hurting it, but you never know. There's corrosion in there. We're deleting on her. That's it. Deleting. Why is it only this truck that I see developing corrosion? Well, the most corrosion out of all my trucks on its battery terminals. Why is it like that? Why don't all of them have it? Don't stab yourself again this week. Thank you. Cha cha! I just get a new terminal end on there and solder it. New end soldered on. We'll put one on there. Might get some solder in that one too. Let's check out the kit. I'm excited about this thing. Plus, I got the crimps, you know. 
You double down your crimp. Come on, it won't fit. Looks like I like this one right here. I don't know, maybe. Well, it fit on our thing on there. You didn't break a crescent wrench, dude. You'd be tough if you did. Let's see if she fits on our fancy throw everything. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Obviously, you can put it down in there, but I would like to have it soldered. Did you hurt your fingers? Let's see. Hey, you go. I think I went the size too small. Let's go up one notch. Nope, that was the right size. And they're like swimwear. How could that fail? Hot. Yep, that's hot, dude. Oh, she got my finger a little warm. Hot. Say super hot. Nope, just regular hot. Say super. Super. Hot. Hot. Super hot. I look high and low for the scrubber. You want up here now? Yeah, I bet you do. Give him that little bit of privilege. He wants back up. Hang on. Hang on. I'm walking. I'm walking. I know. Yeah, that stuff's good for you. Clean off the terminal ends that didn't replace. This one was, I mean, how in the hell could that? That does go on the other battery. It ain't gonna fail. I don't think. Clean this one off. Clean off those little guys there, and we'll be good to go. Don't touch this one to something else because it's still hot. It's getting dark. Happened deep in there. I, I mean, yeah, it's better than it was. I think, as far as just functionality. So I'm gonna hook up the code reader to it and see if we actually got a computer because it wasn't even pulling up the computer before and it just magically cleared all its codes. You doing a wheelie with your dump truck? You getting out of hand, boy. I don't know, can you guys even see it? There it is right there. Five diagnostic trouble codes. Present, okay, let's see what we got. Last time when this happened, we lost camshaft. Oh yeah, that's... Uh sure water and fuel not even concerned because I got a fast what is this one voltage it's number five voltage clear yeah so we're actually got ECM now so there we go DTS cleared it wouldn't even give me that option to even connect to it what did we do with these new terminals. Give me my phone, boy. Hey, right. what you doing with my phone? You taking a video? Well, I'm gonna leave this thing out here in the middle by itself. Let's see what the voltage is. Mm, pretty good, I'd say around 13. Let's see how she cranks. Oh, man, honestly, that does seem a little bit not as spry as before. Spry, is that a word? I don't even know. Let's try it again. I guess that's about right. Ooh, rather be working on either one of those two, not completed projects. Not that this one is really ever a project, but I've sunk a fair amount of money into it. But grandma's truck, I'm having issues with that still. I actually went back and re-soldered the wire, or actually soldered it, deleted the crimp. So what I'm gonna do is put a whole new, down to the starter wiring, not really harness, but you get the picture. You just cross these two right here, and that kicks off your starter. So I'm thinking we got something, an issue in this current one that's in the truck. And this guy over here, I actually drove this thing around quite a bit. It's running been, it's running been great. It's been running great. But it still sounds like it's got cold cranking amps not high enough when you're trying to start this thing when it's, you know, cold out. So I don't know if I'm, I'm liking this little block. So I've had... Good luck with these little guys. They're just a cheap Napa unit, but we're gonna swap that out. I don't think, 
This truck's got some funny ones over there on that side. But the crew cab over here, I ended up swapping those in. And this thing starts no problem with those simple guys on there. So I'm going to put those on it quick, and we'll see how she does. And Grandma's truck, yeah, we got to fix that issue. Well, that's a quick, simple swap a -roo. Let's see if that made any kind of difference on this truck, which way is this going to go like that, something like that. The other one is sitting over there. Check continuity on that thing later on. Let's go ahead. Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah. 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 Nope, it wasn't that. We got other issues. Son of a bitch. Oh, wait, no, actually. <laughs> it helps if you hook it up. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up, boys. Can't make it up. Here we go. All right. Now, obviously, that wasn't going to work before in that manner. Let's see how she does now. Really check neutral. Wow. Same thing. So we got problems in that dip them or something. Damn. Huh. Well, had the key on long enough, running the grid heat apparently, that the battery is dead. Only thing I've done so far that made any bit of difference at all. I mean, I've been swapping the relay here. I grabbed a freshie, nothing. Only thing that I did was I put a dab of uh, grease on that plug-in that goes down there to the starter. I even used this stuff. Check this out. This You'll get a kick out of this. It was in the cabinet. Semi-synthetic for all uses. European and Japanese vehicles. <laughs> this is a Mexican truck. It doesn't say anything, but it helped. So I'm going to get the battery charger on here quick. And, man, what? A little bit of grease is... Helping that, what? I don't know. You went up in here? All right, let's see if it starts a little bit better, buddy. Sounded like a cold morning kind of a start. I think it did better. That Amazon one, buddy, didn't do as justice. We'll find out later on down the road. <sighs> Well, I just made a gas station run. Is that a limo up there? What in the world is... There ain't nobody that famous around here. Shouldn't be driving a limo. That's just uncalled for. Well, time will tell. See how this behaves. I think just being the fact that it's kind of winter time and the temperature's a little colder. You know, it's just a little slower cranking. Those batteries are, I'm going to say, five years old. So maybe that is it. It, does, it seems to crank a little bit better with that different terminal. But nevertheless, it's actually running and it's not throwing those codes that it was before. So I think we hopefully resolve that issue. Well, here we are at that same stoplight that it broke down at last time. So I just got a wild hair to come out here and mess around with this truck because I was thinking maybe it's a bad ground. And after I've replaced the positive lead several times, I started undoing this right here. Just one of those deals, I didn't even think to record it because it's just kind of a hunch. And as soon as I undid this thing, the truck went into freaking gallop mode and started acting all retarded. So evidently, that could be our issue, which would be freaking sweet. Because look at this truck. It is a freaking nice truck zero rust the only dent is right there you got there's a head-on collision avoided and ran over a tree the previous owner did but there's nothing no problems door still closed nice and then i look at this gem same exact truck except for 2500 gosh it has been beat on so i'm going to get some of these fancy washers for grounds these little devils right here if you follow the second channel by chance you will see a video where I was trying to get this thing back around and deleted some stuff, added some stuff. It turned out the thing wouldn't want to run because it had poor ground. So we're going to put a couple of these things in there. I went ahead and bought a bunch of them. And I think I'm going to put a couple in a couple of different spots on the truck. But those things are little spurs. 
and stab into the steel so you get a lot more ground. Check out that thing. Ha. You know what that ground goes to? ECM. Nice. It looks like the uh, fast cord is pulling on that thing. Let's. We need a zip tie. Zip tie it up to that tie over there out of the way so it's not pulling on that old girl. What's this? Looks like we got a. I don't know. What are we looking at? We got stuff. I tighten that up. Got three of those suckers in there. If this fixes it, I'll be so thrilled. Unfortunately, I need new batteries now. Those things are slightly dated. One of the longer lasting new series of batteries I've gotten, but nevertheless, they need to be swapped out because she might not even full crank right now. So I'm gonna run up the house, park this thing so it's not in my way, pull the batteries. But if she fires up and sounds good, and it would make sense because every time I had that issue, I wiggled the battery terminals and I wiggled the ground. Look, now it's running normal. Oh, I'd be so stoked if that's all it was. Done some other stuff that freaking sucked, but whatever. <sighs> Out of breath. It's not easy getting these things in there. Especially if you got the winch lines getting in the way. Where the, there you go. Turns out I had the wrong caliber batteries in them. The little tie down thing, I didn't even take that one out. It's still in there. Needed the, uh, what's the difference here? I had the 65, 70 something. I needed a, something different. Anyway, 400 bucks later, even with a dingle warranty. We're gonna slap the new batteries in it, new ground. Just fingers crossed so we can use this truck again. Mainly for emergencies, it'd be nice to run this because it's got the winch and just turn and go. You ever wonder, what, where did I go wrong here? You can't just let them sit. I ordered a bunch of trickle chargers, but on a fair note, those were some of the longest lasting batteries I've had in the last while. They were actually stickered 2017, just shy of the pro rate warranty thing that saved me 60 bucks or something a battery, which helps a lot. But these things, why are they more than 60 bucks? Can't get the cheap ones. I got the better warrantied. Last longer. What is this bolt? Who invited that guy? Gotta get the... <clears throat> I don't even know where this came from. Hmm, looks like one of the bolts from the front case. <laughs> sure. Battery installer tool. I bought trucks that cost less than I paid for those batteries. Yeah. See how she does. Oh, we're only down to five. They cleared. Oh, by the way, best bang for your buck off the shelf tuner, Smarty Senior. All right, now that we're doing good. Moderately cold, sorry, 45. That's not cold at all. It doesn't even count. Dang it, I got a, got a lamp out. What the heck? There was all kinds of stuff going on. We had ABS codes and all that stuff. Put that ground back on there. This truck has more miles than that silver one down there. And it is in about way better shape. If I could get what I want out of that truck down there, this truck needs double, at least double. For whatever thing I put into this thing, it would be like, uh, I know how much this truck costs brand new. It was 31,000 bucks. I bought it from original owner. He bought it at Dave Smith. Four wheel drive, single wheel 3500, six speed manual. And it was, market's weird right now, I'll tell you what. But she's still clean. Just look. Oh, she locked on that side, go figure. Let's go hit the button so you can just see. It's unlocked. The only dent though, 
is this guy, and it got kicked right here. I mean, just crazy with the difference between a full-fledged California truck, even going over the summits and everything. I don't know what that junk is. Some spill. But there ain't nothing. There's no. I ain't even worried about rust looking at it or none of that. But I do have a mint interior I'm gonna put in this thing. Spruce it up. Let's go for a rip. <laughs> Oh man, I got a brand new front end under this truck too, but you know, I made the steering box just got a little, man, well, it's not that bad. Just got done driving a, a relatively low mile fortune, so I guess this might feel a little bit on the loose side, but she's not bad. For 338,000 miles and apparently one of my lights is out, she's doing pretty nice. I'll say this much, a common rail will just put the hurt on the 12 valve. <sighs> common rail does not really give a crap about temperature they just they fire up they just they don't really care they uh, it's whatever but then uh power wise just put that smarty on it should be ready to party with a little extra you need to put a extra get a fast or something on it because you'll run your stock fuel pump your lift pump to nothing she's feeling good though it would be nice to have this thing just in operation don't necessarily use it every day but it's kind of nice just to have this thing if the weather's you know kind of choppy and snowing and stuff like that i'd prefer not to take the newish trucks out and get hit by one of these jokers in a two-wheel drive car you know i'd rather not saying i'm trying to expend this truck out but it's just if this one took a hit it would suck but not as much and it's just a little bit more aggressive meat cake plus now i got that new dually rear end in it that's actually limited slip not a one tire fire open diff like the old one was this thing can get up and go do a little partying i hope this little saga of issues is behind us i was really close to just gnawing off in this truck now look at this gas it a little bit for eight years now that's the longest i've ever had a truck the 08's behind it at six years and then the 4 Gen is since 18. So five, wow, holy jeez. Time's flying. Anyway, she seems to be running good. Just in this video, I'll show you guys just a little bit of California fun. Oh, we got to get up on her a little bit. Hang on. It's not like a 12 hour where you can just fog it to death and it'll smoke. This one will actually go over in your smoke show. Here. gonna wrap this video up here thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far in the video say did you just do a drift back there and didn't film it i might have it was nice it was for me it was a victory lap the telephone pole needed to have a little donut wrapped around it okay that's it it's a good day a good day I'll be very excited if this thing is just back to continuous rock and roll motion. Slap the new seats in here. Got the new cushion. Actually, this one really only needs a new cushion. Maybe I'll just do that and save those other ones for a different project. But either way, appreciate it if you like this video. See you guys in the next one. Later.